Good morning, this we welcome psychologist Jesse Hancock. Jesse, why are we losing it on the roads? And when I say we, I mean me as well. What's going on? Look, there's so many things that we can get angry about these days. You know, everything from the type of music you're listening to, which is the basis of the study we're running at the moment, um, through to a car cutting you off in front. Um, you know, anything really, even Julia Gillard's stance on gambling reform. <laughs> <laughs> if I swear inside my car and no one hears it, that's not, road, that's not road rage, is it? That's just like me and my own brain having its thing, yeah? Yeah, well, you'd think so, but you still have a, a very real cost on your body. So even if nobody else sees it, even if it doesn't affect anyone else, um, you're still going to have a cost to you. Um, there's a lot of studies showing the effect of stress and anger on your body, particularly on your cardiovascular activity. So it's not a good thing, even if it doesn't affect anyone else. And uh, aside from that, it's really unpleasant. <laughs> you don't want to be angry. But I'm used to myself. I know what I'm like. <laughs> Jess, is the trick to uh, burn a bit of incense, uh, a bit of energy? going, turn our car into a Balinese health resort. Even if we do that, are some people still going to be inclined to get angry under any circumstances? Yeah, absolutely. So there's this uh, impression that some people don't get angry, but I think there's things that annoy all of us and there's things that calm all of us down. But ultimately what the research is showing is that uh, self-regulation is what the key is. So um, the more you can self-regulate, the more that you can um, control your, your behaviours. Um, in different domains of your life, it'll, it'll change the way you respond to uh, aggression on the roads. Well, us girls aren't always great at self-regulating, Jesse, but <laughs> thanks for chatting to us tonight. Thanks very much, guys.